Hey y'all, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. This seems to be the person right under the Chief. Got three stars on this uh, cruiser. We're gonna see who's in there. Alright, that's the tag number 11397 uh, Cruiser 2 PSN. No, this he right up under the chief. This is this is the uh, chief no executive. No, 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 this is the chief executive. No that's why I got Excuse me, can I have a word with you, please? How y'all doing? I see you busy doing? on the phone. You're pretty good. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. Saying, looking at me all funny. Yeah. How you doing today? I'm pretty sure you know who I am. Um, I was just, I'm another blunt, please. Another blunt, please. You haven't heard of me? I know y'all up in the rank. Um, I've talked to Peter Nushin before. I told him to check me out. But um, if you can, I'm the one that's posting the videos of your officers breaking the policies. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's me and my wife right there. And I just wanted to let you know, last night, last night I was harassed severely. And um, I, I just wanted to know who can I come talk to because I've been, we've been to the OPC, we've talked to Internal Affairs. Uh, I caught Peter Newsom up right there on W Street. I told him about the stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what is the process that will help uh, bridge the gap in the community and the police. You know, I'm trying. I'm really out here trying to help the community. No, that's good, man. That's good to hear you trying to help the community. I mean, it's a lot of things we're doing uh, to bridge the gap. I mean. Uh, for instance, you know, if we're back into the elementary schools with all the program. Okay. You can participate with that, man. I mean, besides that, I see you got your. A lot of people, I'm sorry to cut you off. A lot of people be saying go to the ANC commission meetings, but I'm trying to tell them, all right, we going to voice our opinion. It's not going to change the officers' attitude. What what can we do this to change the attitudes? Well, I think from clown officers to those meetings and That's what officers be doing. voicing some of your experiences, dude. Uh, putting out some of the positive relationships that are going on with the police department. I mean, okay. we have officers that are doing things like uh, their own like that out of their own pockets. Uh, okay, that's good for the money. I love the kids, so yeah, that's and, good. And, and, and speaking of kids, I mean, you know, we do coat rides, we do, you know, Thanksgiving, we're out there in the community trying to make sure people have something to eat. Okay, I appreciate all that. The different um, city resources, man, I mean. Man, I'm just talking about the attitudes of the police know, officers that, to the public. That helps to change the attitudes. How can we do that? that type of information. And when we participate with different things, Okay, can I ask you this? Uh, can you take this to Peter Newsham and ask him, can we get a First Amendment uh, uh, class started that y'all can start taking? Okay. Because I don't think that the officers understand the Constitution that we're well, on. We do train. We, we, we do do training. They can't the way they harass me. We're just being the nation's capital. You know, we got First Amendment uh, activities, protests, demonstrations. I understand that, but the, I don't think the officers do. Day. I don't and think the officers do. Deals with those, uh, those types of, uh, demonstrations. Last night he was um, jumped on by an officer for walking me home. And there's a bias. Where, where did that occur? That occurred. Um, live at one of the officers. Live, well, two of the officers, Murphy and um, um, Marbell. Mar Maribel. 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 They both live in my building. But like when somebody got stabbed and I knocked on his door, to ask him, you know, what, what's up with all this blood on the walls and there's some on my door and it's all over the floor. Like, when is somebody coming out, you know, to take care of it? Because it happened that night and it was like that the next morning. I knocked on the floor because I just moved in. It was last March and I was trying to figure out what was going on. He told me, do not knock on his door. His door is not to be knocked at. Boom, slam the door. You want to know why he did that? When I first moved in with my car, Murphy took it in my car five times, doctor, doctor, back. I called down the station, I said, I have a parking pass. My property manager said, I can keep this car in this lot until I get my tags fixed. I just moved here. All them tickets was null and voided, but I feel like they are on like some retaliation. Everything they doing they're doing They conspiring against us. Like, they're really conspiring. Uh, He go there all the time. Guess I mean, what they did? Guess what? Hold on. 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 You know about the elementary. I like the elementary schools. Yeah, stuff. the youth, the stuff we do with the yeah. elementary schools, those are definitely opportunities, man. And we should be, we should be broadcasting stuff like that out there. Yeah. So that the community sees that we're not out here. Not all yeah. of us. We're not out here just to. 
yeah, arrest yeah, people yeah. and do things yeah. like that. We want to change the dynamic, bridge that gap that you're talking about, yeah. uh, so that we, um, we we communicate with this generation and prove it as okay. as we go on. You know like I mean? okay, for instance, it was a white guy down the street with a dog, and it was a black lady, mental health. You could tell, seen her out here before or whatever. It was an incident where she said she might have said something to him or spat at him or something, and we were trying to resolve the situation. Like, what can you do as you know, um, a citizen that's, that live here? What can she do? You know what I'm saying? As somebody that's on mental health, and then how can we fix the situation? The officers that came on the scene were more aggressive than the people that were in the situation. And it was like they wanted a lock up. They're I said, y'all not going to lock this lady up in front of me. I'm going to get her some help because I know she's out here on the street and she don't need to be behind bars. That's not going to fix what she's going through. So they asked did she want to be taken to, uh, what's it called? The uh, mental health, the place. Oh, and, you know, she said no. She just wanted to calm down, you know what I'm saying, and be left alone. But if we weren't there, they definitely would have had a lockup. Why anybody taking us to see what you did to get some mental health, you know, help or an evaluation? But at the end of the day, um, I, that's what I wanted look, look for at this. her. This is what I want you to, this, what, this, this is what I'm going to say, and then we got to roll, y'all. Okay. okay. Um, you know, we do a thing, um, a, a, a community event uh, almost almost every month in, in, in each one of our districts. And I know okay. you guys are in the third district a lot. Do you have um, any business cards? I do. Business cards, please. I, I didn't mean to cut y'all off. Can I have your identification, please? And, and badge number, please? Yeah, I'm Patrol Chief Green. I appreciate that. AC-14. All right. That's my Thank card, you. right? Thank you. I usually Feel don't take these, man. I, I will man. be reaching out to all right. you all. Can I Thank have you yours, guys. please, sir? I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, but we got a program, like I was saying. We're going to try to attend. streets. Uh, beat the street. Beat the street. Yeah, we do it in different. I never heard of it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Beat the street. Uh, every month during the summertime, that's where we bring all of uh, the city's resources out, jobs, summer camp. Oh, was it on Minnesota Avenue yeah, over there on that side? Okay, oh, yeah, 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 we, we did. did. Go. I had my dad. Yeah. I, I participated in that last year. Whole time. I met a lady from DHS, and every time yeah. I have a problem, now I can just call her on her business yeah. card. I appreciate the conversation. Thank you, man. We're going to get in there. We're going to get in there. Y'all going to see us around. Thank y'all for the uh, positive communication. Thank you. All right. So that was uh, a couple of the white shirts. And uh, it was a positive uh, communication. No, and they about to have an accident out there. Yeah, that was a good one right there. With some white shirts. They was just sitting. We caught them uh, chilling. You know. Yeah, not talk harassing them, down them to the yeah, ground. talk them down until they leave, until they got wrapped up in the in the blanket like a bed. They got wrapped up in the red light. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like and subscribe button, y'all, for that positive uh, communication, man.